Roy Rogers Show. Starring Roy Rogers, King of the Cowboys, Trigger, his Golden Palomino, and Dale Evans, Queen of the West. With Pat Brady, his comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. Haven't you ever seen a lady's hat box, Pat? I don't know nothing about ladies' hat boxes, but that sure is a mighty pert-looking gal riding in that wagon. I reckon I'll go down and take a closer look. your help, you smart Alex. Look what you've done. Well, Alex, you had it coming. Yeah, you and that noisy cutout. Look at what you've done to that girl's hat. She looks like a cyclone hit an Easter parade. I should say, let's help her, Roy. Look at them. Just look at them. Not fit for any human to wear. Maybe you can fix them up enough, honey. Oh, shucks, ma'am. I wouldn't even bother. Most women won't know the difference. <laughs> you. Well, I guess this just about does it. No, not quite. Look. <laughs> Thank you, Bullet. <laughs> Thanks to both of you. This is a fine start for a new business. You figuring on settling down in Mineral City? Yes. Granddad and I left Medicine Well so I could open a shop in Mineral City. And look what's happened to my stock in trade. Hey, I was meaning to ask you, Millie, what's the matter with your grandpa? He hasn't even turned around. Oh, he's all right. He just isn't sociable. Well, if I can be of any help to you, I have a business in Mineral City, too. I have a restaurant. Oh, thanks, Dale. I'll certainly come to you if I need any help. Start now. We'll keep that jackass and let me. Shall I put these? I put them in the back room. Yes. Where are you going, young man? Oh, I'm sorry. Got him hopping around, eh? That's the least he can do for all the damage he's caused. Don't worry. He'll come in handy for us. That's what I figured. Is there anything else I can do, Millie? Uh, no. You go have dinner and come back later. Gosh. I'll gulp it right down and return with the speed of a... You'd better, young man, if you don't want to pay for all the damage you've caused. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I I'll be back. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll be back. Oh, I'm sorry, Bill. See, I don't know what's been getting into me lately. I, I've been stumbling around like a lopsided camel. 
That's a mighty pretty young neighbor I've got next door. Oh, she sure is, and she's been letting me help her. Lucky you. Say, uh, how's about giving me an introduction sometime? Well, I might think about it. Do you know Pat's even been neglecting Nellie Bell? <laughs> Oh, nearly quite silly, you lady. <laughs> well, what makes you so frisky? <laughs> Give me everything on the menu, Dale. I'm as hungry as a horse. I've seen Trigger look just like that. Yeah. Has that little Milner from Medicine Wells got your paw in the dirt? Listen, everybody in town wants to meet her. Well, that is all the young bucks, but me, I got the inside track. No wonder. You work for her for nothing. It's a pleasure, Roy. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Here, Romeo. This will make you a whinny. Well, thank you, Dale. <laughs> hey, was that me? <laughs> oh, Pat. <laughs> and it sells for only ten dollars. You'd never believe it. These are ostrich babies. Now, for those of you who have a desire for something bold and pretty, how about it, Dale? Did you buy you one of these Sunday go to meeting hats? Not me, thank you. But look at Bill Hastings over there. Here's a nice off the face hat. <laughs> His eyes are sticking out like a trumped on toad frog. He's not the only one. Now, this is the hey, we better we're get back to the restaurant. Pat's over there tearing his hair out, and he's got his Tell fingernails chewed off to the elbows. If he misses this show, he'll never forgive us. You know it. I think Bill Hastings is going to give Pat some competition. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Why don't you look where you're going? Now, wait a minute. You bumped into her, and I think you owe her an apology. That's right, Milo. A gentleman should always apologize to a lady, even when she's in the wrong. Come on. Now, that's a couple of gentlemen. I think I'll teach him some manners. Oh, come on, Roy. Probably wouldn't do any good. Hi there. I'd like to get a money order. I'll have to get Mr. Hastings there. He handles all the money. He's right next door. All right. There's a vault right there. Yeah. Couldn't be more handy. There's the back door. That Miller's a smart one. Sorry to hold you up, gentlemen. Now, what can I do for you? I'd like to get a $10 money order. All right. You want that made out to cash? Yes. Wow. Oh, hi. Well, how do I look? Just like a dude. Would you like to borrow some of my perfume? Perfume? What do you take me for? One of Millie's customers. Listen, she invited me to go to that hat show, and I'm going. When you buy a hat, be sure it's an imported creation. Oh. Yeah, one with ostrich feathers on it. Very funny. <laughs> you know, Roy, I kind of like Millie at first. Now I'm not so sure. What makes you say that? Well, there's just something about her. What do you mean? Well, Millie's just a little too smooth. She's after something, and I don't think it's selling hats. Hmm, maybe she's after her husband. Maybe. I doubt it. She's certainly got a good prospect in past. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a cup of coffee, huh? And when that gold shipment comes, there'll be plenty to take out. Yeah, but when's it coming? Well, that's up to Millie to find out. Soup's on, fellas. Oh, uh, okay. You know, Millie, I wouldn't worry if you already had to start proposing all over again. And I'd say yes all over again. <laughs> How long are you going to be gone? i got to know, because i got things to do. Sure, and we know the things you have to do. But you can take her to Sunday school next Sunday. Yeah, what's come over you anyway? You used to be satisfied with a griddle and a few patties of hamburger. Well, shucks, Dale. <laughs> I've come of age. I'll take care of the restaurants, but the least you can do is tell me where you're going. Medicine Wells, and we'll be back late tonight. Medicine Wells? What for? You're still too young to know. Yes, and don't you leave this restaurant to go over and look at Millie's new hat. <laughs> oh, I 
Hi, Millie. Sit down. You're just in time for a hamburger. No, thanks, Pat. I'll just run you a change for a $10 bill. Why, certainly. Uh, or I mean, I guess not. Dale must have taken all the money to the bank before she left for Medicine Wells. Medicine Wells? What for? That's what I asked her, but they said I was too young to know. So why don't you just sit down and have a hamburger? Hey, where are you going? Well, what did I do to chase her off like a hungry owl after a lizard? Did Millie say where she was going? Down at the Eureka Cafe. Flat! Flat! What's the matter? We're in trouble. I just learned that Rogers and Dale Evans have gone down to Medicine Wells. Medicine Wells, huh? Can't you see what that means? Why would they go down to Medicine Wells unless they were... One no more about Millie and me. They know that we come from there. Well, who told them that? We did like dang fools when they helped us out there on the road. But we still got time to cut them off. Come on, Milo. How's your ankle? Don't try to walk on it. We better go back and have the doc take a look at it. Sorry, Roy. Well, you couldn't help it. Hello, Millie. Say, Bill, you do me a favor. You just name it. Look at the vault you've got there. This is the best they make. Your money will sure be safe in there, all right. Want a receipt? No. If the Wells Fargo can trust you. I guess I can. Oh, that old vault's seen a lot of money in its time. Gold dust, too. I'll bet. Say, why don't you come over to the shop? I just made some fresh coffee, and I have a nice layer cake. Oh, I'd like to, Millie. But I can't just now. Why not? There's nobody here. Well, as a matter of fact, there's a big gold shipment coming in at any moment. And I have to be here to sign for it. Oh, they're going to keep it here? No. The government men will pick it up in the morning confined to the mint at Denver. Just think of it. My few dollars in the same vault with all that gold. Yeah. Over a hundred thousand dollars worth. Well, um, I've got to get back to the shop.
come over if you can, will you? Oh, you bet. That's a date. Bye-bye. Bye, Millie. Good thing it's only a flesh wound or you'd have to go to the doctor. And have you turned me over to the sheriff? Not me. That's enough of that. Now, do you think you can blow that safe? He won't have to. What do you mean? I have an idea that's easier and not so noisy. Yes, sir. She's got them both. Looks and brain. Now, Nellie Bell, there's really no need of you getting jealous. Just because I'm helping one girl out and sort of courting another wife, I want you to know that you're always the first girl in my life. You're the... You... Go right ahead, Pat. Don't mind me. Well, I, <laughs> I was just sitting here keeping Nellie Bell company and keeping an eye on the restaurant, too. <laughs> what you got there? Roy Rogers, Mineral City. Tom Waters was ordered to leave Medicine Wells on threat of arrest. Has prison record. Millie is wife of Flats Johnson, notorious outlaw. Well, I'll be a cotton picking fry cook if I didn't fall for her a hook, line, and half box. Now I've got an idea who those men are that ambush stealing me. Hey, Bill's getting in a big gold ship. Hey. Things are really beginning to add up. What you gonna do? I'm gonna take this to the sheriff. This is about the biggest shipment you ever had, isn't it, Bill? Yeah. Sure be glad when the government men pick it up in the morning. See you next year. All right, take care of yourself. Oh, hi, Sheriff. Oh, hello, Roy. Take a look at this. Well, bad medicine from Medicine Wells, huh? Yeah. And Dale had a hunch about it. When those bushwhackers tried to keep us from reaching Medicine Wells, I knew she was right. But Sheriff Hill don't say they've committed any crime. He just gave them their walking papers, that's all. You know, Sheriff, the Wells Fargo off just got a shipment of gold. You don't suppose there's any connection to you? Oh, maybe. that cup of coffee you promised me. Say, Bill, it would be too much trouble for you to give me my money box. Grandfather's going into the railroad junk to pick me up some material, and he needs some money. Well, oh, that's no trouble at all. There you are, Bill. Well, Millie! Don't move. I'm a good shot. What is this, a joke? You'll find out what kind of a joke it is if you make a move. Okay, boys, grab them. Money's in the safe. Look at this. Ain't that pretty? Bags of gold in all hours. It won't be ours if you don't get going. Hi, Dale. How's the ankle? Fine, Roy. Gee, I'm glad you came. There's something awful funny going on across the street. Another hunch? <laughs> now, don't you be laughing at my hunches after getting that telegram. Don't worry. I know better than that. What's up now? Well, first of all, Pop Water's wagon is parked right in front of Millie's shop. Well, what's so funny about that? Well, Millie came out and went in the Wells Fargo office, and she's been in there a long time. And after she went in, the blinds were pulled down. And don't tell me she and Bill just wanted to be alone, because I've got a hunch it's something else. There's a lot of gold locked up in that vault. It might be a good idea to check and see if it's still there. Pretty snug, Pops. It'll hold all right, but you better hurry. Oh, Millie, where's Bill? 
Oh, that was a pleasure. Getting the gold and Rogers, too. Come on. Let's get out of here. What's the matter? Rogers busted in, but Milo took care of him. You got the wagon loaded, Jeff? All oh, but these. You and Pop finished loading the wagon. Milo and I'll follow and pick you up down the road. Right. to get you. Well, they got away with the gold in that wagon. Well, I saw Millie and her grandpa leaving with a load of hat boxes. Trigger! You get the sheriff and follow me. Until we meet 
again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then. Happy trails.